with the Campbell soup cans. 1962. But this, this cuts deeper. Warhol's stuff was um, playful and, and, and subtle, but th this is, I don't know, this is revolutionary. I think it's the, it's the first salvo in the fight against corporatism. Yeah, well, you know what we got to do? We got to boycott everything. We got to spend the next two generations naked and hungry in order to wipe all of this stuff out. That's what it would take. You know, um, Pompeii was buried by volcanic ash in 79 AD. 1,500 years later, when they uh, unearthed the city, you know what the first thing they found was? What do I know? Starbucks. No. The Sam's Club. You're having fun, aren't you? Um, the uh, first symbol they found, the first logo, if you will, do you know what it was? A Nike swoosh. A cross. A symbol of Christianity. You remember when uh, John Lennon said the Beatles were bigger than Jesus Christ? Yeah, but he didn't mean it the way it came out. Okay. But if a volcanic eruption were to bury everything we have now under volcanic ash, what would be the first thing they would find 1,500 years from now? Would it be a Christian cross or would it be a Nike swoosh? A swoosh. Why do you say that? Because they're everywhere. People are, are, are tattooing them on their bodies. We're, we're so inundated by, by all these logos that, that, frankly, I think corporations now have a greater sway on, on us as, as people on the planet than any religion does. Well, like this artist, for instance. This artist has a mind of his own. Look at this stuff. He's telling these corporations to go fuck themselves. You know, uh, just last week, I got a Che Guevara t-shirt at Urban Outfitters. No kidding. You know what that means? The revolution has been co-opted, all right? They bought it, they repackaged it, rebranded it, and sold it right back to us. That is what's going on right now. We, we've become this, this, this nation of pod people, and, and this, we have this notion of a in logo we trust. You know what John Lennon also said? John, Tell me. OK. John Lennon also said, Imagine there are no country. Imagine there are no religion. Imagine there are no heaven and hell. Imagine us all one brotherhood of man. So if we're all wearing Nike swooshes and we're all eating the same food and we're all doing the same thing, we're all one brotherhood of man. Just do it. I want to do it. You want to do it. Let's just do it. How's that wrong? John Lennon did not envision the Orwellian clusterfuck that is currently branding us and sucking out our individuality. That's not what he had in mind. Do you have the guts to live off the grid, naked and hungry for the next two generations so that these logo mofos close up shop and move out?